thus far. I'm looking forward to uh, being the next Tracy City Council person. And as you know, my name is Juana Dimet, and I am running for Tracy City Council. And one of the things I want to talk to you about this morning is the issue of jobs. You know, I think that uh, one, of the, one of the growing areas of jobs today are in small businesses and entrepreneurships. And I'd like to see the city embrace those areas of, of business the way they do the larger businesses and give them some of those incentives that they need to get their businesses moving. And I also think that we also need to try to do whatever we can when we attract you know, the larger corporations that we are now planting the seeds of infrastructure so that we can reap the economic growth and business that we need. We need to make sure that local businesses that come here and open shop, that they do so and take in mind that we would like to see a percentage of those jobs go to local residents here in Tracy. I think that's an important aspect. I talked to you a little bit this morning about public safety. You know, we need to be able to give the right education and resources and tools for our police, our fire department, and our emergency services people. They are the first line of defense. We need to know that they're ready so that when you make that call, when you're in need, they will be there for you. We need to also look at our gay problem here at Tracy. We need to tackle it and we need to make sure that we do everything we can to eliminate the culture of gang activity in Tracy. This is what I'm hearing over and over again by the residents of Tracy. Tracy's already working in that direction. Tracy's been very, very good about putting together the uh, Mayor's Community Youth Support Network. And this is a collaborative of different uh, leadership and resources in Tracy that have put together the resources and a strategic plan to help combat not only gang violence but at risk youth and some of the other issues that our youth face today. And I would encourage you to go on to the City of Tracy website and click on the Mayor's Committee and look at that strategic plan and get familiar with it because you're going to be asked to support it. And again, that topic will come up in various uh, forms throughout the campaign. I also want to talk to you today about the downtown. And that's very near and dear to everyone's heart because everybody wants to see a vibrant downtown. And right now, the downtown business owners went ahead and started a, a, an assessment that they, they're going to tax themselves so that they can go ahead and maintain the downtown and be able to market themselves effectively out in that little area. But we also have to look at the blight area of the downtown. There are homes that are in disrepair. There's some illegal modifications. There are some safety health, the safety health and code violations that need to take care of. But we need to be diligent as a city to make sure that they are enforced by the courts uh, codes that we have in place right now. We also need to be able to continue to make the outreach because there are rehabilitation plan, uh, programs available for homeowners out there, and they need to know that they can avail of those services to, to clean up their areas, to make sure and replace that roof if that's what they need to do. So we need to get out there and really outreach in that direction. And then it's important also that we, to, together as a, com a community, collectively, support the downtown by shopping local, by making sure that we go to the restaurants and go to the shops over there and enjoy our cup of coffee, you know, at some of the establishments. And there's a lot of businesses out there that need your support. And I'm sure that if, you know, maybe a small portion of our entire community went downtown and used those services, their businesses would be flourishing at a higher rate. And I'll tell you, the last thing I want to talk to you about is the housing market in Tracy. Now this is very near and dear to my heart. Part of the campaign here is for me to be transparent with you. And I'm here to tell you that I am a survivor of a short sale. And because I went through that process, I also had to file for bankruptcy. I didn't have the tools that you have now that the Tracy residents and residents all over the country have right now. Those tools are not available to me. So I'm very passionate about this because I, I don't want to see families continue to lose their homes at an alarm, alarming rate. There are choices that they can do. There's low modification programs out there. And then there's also, if they cannot hold on to their home, there's also the possibility for them to short sale. I think that we need to put forward a Tracy alternative to the task force. We have proper professionals in this community that are trained and certified to guide and counsel families that are struggling 
through their options before they have to lose their home. I'd like to propose to the City Council, to the residents of Tracy, to put together a task force like this so that we can pull from our local realtors that are professionals in the area, our professional tax preparers, our CPAs, and then of course make sure that we have attorneys available. Put together some workshops so and start using those resources for free so that we can go ahead and offer that to Tracy residents. And the last thing I want to talk to you about, and I know your time is precious and you need to keep moving on, is the fact that we need to move on. We've gone through some challenges. We're going to be okay. We're going to be fine. There's nothing wrong with Tracy that can't be fixed with what's right with Tracy. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't be here today supporting this campaign. We need to help each other move Tracy forward. We have to be able to collectively, collectively find solutions to our challenges in a professional and a very positive way, in a way that we can voice our opinions and our strategies through forums and, and be able to have meeting groups. And we have the link at the one of the, uh, the Demet for Tracy Council site. It says, move with us. Click on that link and it will take you to moving Tracy forward. And this is going to be the site where I want people to go to because I want to know what your issues are. And I want to hear what your solutions are. We can't depend on government to solve them all. We have the resources here to do it. There's a lot of people here that start youth leagues and, and youth, you know, youth programs. We need to be able to collectively come together and be able to have a place in which we can continue to move Tracy forward. And so my question today is, are you ready to move Tracy forward with me? Yay! Yes. Thank you so much for being here. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. But most of all, what you're doing here means a lot to my citizens of Tracy. Thank you so much, guys.